Hello everyone and welcome to a special Red Nose Day quiz. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off my red nose because I can't speak properly with it. We are going to have two rounds and then at the end we are going to have some Red Nose Day jokes. The first round will be all about things that are red because it is a Red Nose Day comic relief. And the second round will be all about noses. And then because Red Nose Day is comic relief and comic relief is funny, we will have some jokes at the end. So let's start off. Our first round is things that are red. Question number one is what is on the Japanese flag? Is it a red circle, a red square or a red triangle? Write your answers down now. A red circle, a red square or a red triangle? Get those answers written down. Go, go, go. And remember, you can pause the video if you need to, if you need more time to do your answers. The next is, which of these road signs is red? Is it go? Is it cycle lane, where you ride your bike? Or is it stop? So which of these road signs would be red? Is it go, cycle lane, or is it stop? Hmm, let's see. And then the third one. What's the missing word in the rhyme? It says red sky at night, shepherd's flight. Or is it red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Or red sky at night, shepherd's right. So that's the first three questions. First three questions. We've got 10 questions in this round and then I'll give you the answers. So let's have a look at our next set of questions. The next question is number four. And it says, in art, how is the color red described? Is it? A tint, a primary colour, or is it a secondary colour? If you don't want to write the whole thing down, you can write number four, and then A, B, or C. And I'll give you the answers in just a moment. The next question. Remember, you can pause the video if you need a bit more time to write it down. Which of these is a red vegetable often found in a salad? Is it a radish, a cucumber, or a spring onion. So which of these is a red vegetable often found in salads? A radish, a cucumber, or a spring onion? So you can write number 5A, or 5B, or 5C. Next up, we have got... Which of these colours is a type of red? Is lilac a type of red? Is turquoise a type of red? Or is scarlet a type of red? So, is it 6A, lilac, 6B, turquoise, or 6C, scarlet? Which of these is a type of red? And then, red is one of the colours on the Union Jack. What are the other two? So, are the other two colours black and white? Is it red, black and white? Is it blue and black? So, is it red, blue and black? Or is it white and blue? Is it red, white and blue? So, is it 7A, black and white? 7B, blue and black, or 7C, white and blue. Next question. Which of these football teams does not have red as its main colour? Is it A, Chelsea, B, Liverpool, or C, Manchester United? Which of these football teams does not have red as its main colour? Is it Chelsea, Liverpool, or Manchester United? Remember, if you need a bit more time, you can pause the video. Next up. In nature, what is a red admiral? So in nature, what is a red admiral? Is it a type of bird? Is it a type of butterfly? Or is it a type of bear? So what is a red admiral? Is it a bird, a butterfly, or a bear? So 9A, 9B, or 9C. Then... What colour do you get if you mix red and yellow? So if you mix red and yellow, if you're mixing up your paints, what colour do you get if you mix red and yellow? Do you get A, orange? B, purple? Or C, do you get pink? So those are our first round of questions. We're going to go back. Pause the video if you need a bit more time. But we are going to go over some of the answers. So I've got my answer question answers here. And... Question number one, what is on the Japanese flag? It was A, a red circle. Question number two, 
Which of these road signs is red? It was C, stop. And question number three, what's the missing word in the rhyme? It was red sky at night, shepherd's delight. So that was B. The answer number three was B. Now, in art, how is the colour described? It is described as B, a primary colour. Red is a primary colour. And which of these is a red vegetable, often found in salads? It was A, radish. So if you've got four, four was B, and five, five was A. Let's move on to the next set of answers. Question six, which of these, color, which of these colours is a type of red? And the answer was not lilac, and it was not turquoise, it was C, scarlet. Red is one of the colours on the Union Jack, this is question seven. What are the other two? And the other two colours are C, white and blue. Question eight. Which of these football teams does not have red as its main colour? Well, I can tell you one of the football teams has blue as its main colour and that is Chelsea. So the answer is A, Chelsea. Question nine. The red admiral. Well, a red admiral is a type of butterfly. So it is a type of butterfly. So in question nine, it was B. And then question ten. What colour do you get if you mix red and yellow? The answer is A, orange. Very good, so that's our first round done. So we have now got 10 questions in our next round, and our next round is all about noses. So that was our red round. This is now our nose round. Here we go, not news round, nose round. So let's have a look at round two. What's giving me an itchy nose? <laughs> round two. So, getting to know you. The first question is, whose nose gets longer when they tell a lie? Whose nose gets longer when they tell a lie? Is it A, Pinocchio, B, Shrek, or C, is it Elsa? Whose nose gets longer when they tell a lie? Then, question two, the giant in Jack and the Beanstalk shouted what rhyme? Is it fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of an Englishman? Or is it fee fi fo fum I smell, catch me if you can. Or is it fee fi fo fum I smell stinky feet. Whew. So who, what did the giant say in Jack and the Beanstalk? Was it A or B or C? Question three. What is an elephant's nose called? Does an elephant have a snout? Or does an elephant have B, a sniffer? Or does an elephant have C, a trunk? What is an elephant's nose called? Hmm. A, B or C? Remember, you can pause at any time if you need a bit more time to do this. What are the two holes in your nose called? Are they called blowholes? Nostrils? Or are they called caves? So what are the two holes on your nose called? Are they called blowholes? Nostrils? or caves. Question five. Which two parts, which two body parts is it important a face mask covers? Is it your nose and your ears? Is it your nose and your eyes? Or is it your nose and your mouth? Which two body parts is it important that a face mask covers? Very good. Next question. Which reindeer is famous for his red nose? Is it A, Rudolph, B, Dasher, or C, Prancer? Which reindeer is famous for having a red nose? Oh, and away it goes, a red nose. Is it Rudolph, Dasher, or Prancer? Next is number seven. Which farm animals like to sleep nose to nose? I'm not sure about this one. Is it A, cows, B, sheep, or C, pigs. Which animals like to sleep with their nose on another animal's nose? Is it cows or sheep or pigs? And lastly on this page, but we've got two more after this, what is a horse's nose called? Is it called A, a mizzle, B, a muzzle, or C, a muzzle? A mizzle, a muzzle, or a muzzle? It's very difficult to say. So what is a horse's nose called? A mizzle, a muzzle, or a muzzle? Let's move on. And our last two questions of this round. Which of these isn't another word for a nose? Is it a mush, 
a hooter or a conch. So which isn't, which is not another word for a nose. A mush, a hooter or a conch. And if you're not sure, have a guess. You might get it right, you never know. So you can write down A or B or C. And lastly, snitch, another word for a nose, is also the name of a ball used in Quidditch in the Harry Potter stories. But what colour is the snitch in the books? So the snitch in the Harry Potter Quidditch matches, is it silver, is it bronze, or is it golden? Have a think about that, pause if you need a bit more time, and we will go over the answers. Let me find my very important answer sheets. Where is it? Here we go. So, question one. Whose nose gets longer when they tell a lie? It was A, Pinocchio. Pinocchio's nose gets longer. Question two. The giant in Jack and the Beanstalk said, Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. So it was A again. Question three. What is an elephant's nose called? It's called a trunk. So that was C. Question three was C, a trunk. What are the two holes in your nose called? They are called nostrils. So it was 4B. What are the two holes in your nose called? They are called nostrils. And then question five. Which two body parts is it important that a face mask covers? Well, if I put my face mask on, it covers my nose and my mouth. So it was nose and mouth. And that was question five. Five, and the answer was C. Question six, which reindeer is famous for having his red nose? We all should have got this one. It was Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. And then question seven, which farm animals like to sleep nose to nose? Now, I wasn't sure about this one, but the answer is actually piggies. Pigs like to sleep nose to nose. So question seven was C. The answer was C. Question eight, what is a horse's nose called? It is called a muzzle. So that's B, a muzzle. And the next one. Which of these isn't another word for a nose? Well, that's A, and it is a mush, because your mush is your face. Now, question 10. The snitch in Harry Potter was often called the golden snitch. So it is C, golden. Very good. So, I thought I'd end with a couple of jokes. See if you know any of the answers. I'll give you a second just to have a look. But, joke number one is, what goes up when the rain comes down? So what goes up when the rain comes down? And that is, it's an umbrella. This is my favorite one, this next one. What has a bottom at the top? What has a bottom at the top? It's your legs. At the top of your legs, is your bottom. Very good, so what has a bottom at the top? That's your legs. And then, what word is spelled wrong in every dictionary? And the answer is, the word wrong. Because in every dictionary, the word wrong is spelled W-R-O-N-G. So in every dictionary, the word wrong is spelled wrong. Then, what has four fingers and a thumb, but isn't alive? And that would be a glove that you would put on your hand. And lastly, what begins with T, what ends with T, and has a T in it? So it starts with T, ends with T, and has T in it. And that's a teapot. Starts with T, t ends with T, teapot. And you have to put your T in it. So I hope you enjoyed that quiz, and I will see you all soon. Okay.